Look what I have for you. The laundry is waiting for your magic hands. Since I have been in the US, that is my meditation time, uh, kind of folding my unfolded life, uh, or the other way around, I, I still don't know yet. <laughs> uh, my wife says I'm very good at that. I don't know if it is the truth, but it's very nice to, to hear it. Previously, in this play, Carlina, it is a boy. It was 1959. Che Guevara and Fidel Castro took La Habana. Alaska became state number 49, and the Barbie doll debuted. <laughs> then I went to the highlands of Peru, 12,000 feet of rarefied air and people. Back to Italy for 27 years. I slept and I wake up in the same bedroom where I was born. In 2011, March 8, I came here to Seattle. Why am I here? <laughs> what is this huge hot bus that twists my guts? Ho comprato un paio di scarpe nuove. It all begins with some weird questions. Are you a terrorist? <laughs> Me? <No. laughs> Are you a drug dealer? I used to share some joints when I was young, and you will be <laughs> alive. <laughs> but dealing? No. Are you an immigrant smuggler? Are you a prostitute? Oh, come on. <laughs> or someone used to manage prostitution? Why did you put it together? I always thought that pimp and prostitute were two slightly separated career. <laughs> that was my first time in the US. JFK Airport, New York City, 2009. Only three months after my stroke. After completing the questions, the guy said, now you're biometrics. Look here, <laughs> smile, a flash, picture. Now your fingerprints, sir. Please, sir, all of them. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Ten fingerprints? I felt so important, 50 years living in my country. Nobody cares about my biometrics. Mm -hmm. After then, the same story, the other three times I came to the US, and in order to apply for my temporary and permanent green card. So when I decided to be an American citizen, I thought that they had enough with this whole collection of biometrics. <laughs> Guess what? I was wrong. <laughs> My new appointment is 7.15 in the morning, and there is no coffee in there. Sleep, sleeping like a zombie, I'll go, to, I'll go through the metal detector until this room with an amazing polyglot mumbling. It seems everybody needs biometrics. And by the way, some coffee too, probably. <laughs> when they call my number, a mature lady with white plastic gloves, like a scientist, come to pick me up and, bring, and brings me again in front of the biometric machine. Now she's on my right side, too close to me for the American standards, but she, never, <laughs> she will never look at me. Look here, smile, flash, and a picture, it's easy. Now your fingerprint, sir. The thumb is simple, actually, it seems born to be fingerprinted. Sliding on the glass, beep, the computer recognizes it. Aseptically and professionally, she's now taking my index finger between her thumb and her middle and shaking it with energy. Relax! <laughs> I 
I followed with my poor finger and the shaking, which is my whole body. <laughs> and actually, I was pretty stress-free before she tells me to relax. But now, now I begin to breathe heavily, sliding my index finger on the glass. Beep. The machine recognizes it. Now she's asking for my middle finger. And I am always kind of reluctant to give it to a lady. But she grabs it and shake it again. Relax. She slides my middle finger on the glass. Nothing. The machine is mute. Shaking again, now wider and stronger. Relax. Now, there is no way that I can relax. My fingerprints did not match with the recorded one. The index finger, yes. But the middle, no. What, what is that? A joke? Is there a camera somewhere? Mm. Oh, yeah, my gosh, here is full of cameras. <laughs> but it's not a TV show, for sure. Relax, more pressure on my finger. Sliding. Niente. Nada. Nothing. My heartbeat dial goes faster and noiser. I'm flushing from red to purple. The shaking is now wild. The pressure on my finger goes too painful. Following my finger, I'll touch her. Sir, relax. She said again, but now my heartbeat goes totally crazy. The sign and pause is interminable. And finally, I have got the sweetest and most erotic beep I have had. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way that I can go from a bunch of wrinkled and disorganized clothes to, to some cute little piles like, uh, you know, Ricardo's underwear, Sarah's socks, uh, uh, pajamas, shirts. And my mind, my oh, mind goes around. Boy went back to Napoli because he missed the scenery, the native dancers, and the charming songs. But wait a minute, something's wrong. From another country, I felt I felt allowed to be here, but not very welcome. The first comment of my mother-in-law about me was, "Oh, he seems a very quiet guy." Mom said, "My wife, of course, is quiet. He doesn't speak any English. <laughs> quiet. I have learned how to be quiet. I mean, still now." Late in the night, a dinner with friends in a noisy restaurant, music and chatting going on, I get overwhelmed. So I put on my metaphorical headphones and I'll go uh, quiet. I keep laughing and smiling ever since, so nobody will note any difference. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Now, now I am in this meeting room. The flag, the flag, oh, makes everything so official. The room is full of people from 29 different countries. People like these two old guys from Bhutan. They're still wearing their own traditional clothes. They seem lost. They seem lost. But the picture of them with the American flag in the back, taken by their song, oh, that is the, the sweetest frame I got from this day. People, people like this man from Central Africa, he's wearing a shining light blue suit over red brilliant shoes. 
He took very seriously the instruction we had for this day. Thai is not necessarily, but please dress appropriately, considering the importance of this event. Thank you for showing me how elegance can be even culturally based. People, people like this couple with two kids from some East European country, in their eyes I saw all the trouble for a parent. How do you teach your kids to stand up and sing for a different country. Which fairy tales will you choose for them? People, oh, people like this young man from Eritrea. He's so anxious and emotional. I needed to help him to write down his own address. I kind of see him leaving his battered country, walking through the African desert until some refugee camp, living there, homeless from a homeless country. Until one day, someone will say, you've got a new country, you're going to Seattle. Thank you for showing me how difficult life can be. <laughs> People like this young lady, her eyes looking down are talking about a difficult time in some Latin American country. She will not be able to tell her grandchild the whole story. Who will believe in 20 years that to come here to this land of dreams, you need to, to crawl in the desert and live invisible for years. People, people like at the end, like me and others here, we got a spouse and a new country. In the Black Friday of life, we got two by the price of one. <laughs> we are the luckiest person here. We got a dual citizenship. What about two heads, like an alien? Actually, alien is that the way they call you in order to get you to But what about having, oh, two passports? <laughs> you know, when I wake up in the right side of the bed, I feel like a proud Italian becoming a real American. But when I'm having my gray days, and the weather in Seattle, it doesn't help, I feel more like not yet American. And I don't know if one day I will be, and not anymore Italian. And then, then I look around me, kind of lost. Ho comprato un paio di scarpe nuove. I have got a new pair of shoes to see if my body wants to move. They're bright, fashionable. Red and blue, like these ones I had once in Peru. I need them to walk across my new land. I need them to hold on when I need to stand. However, my feet 
we need time, pain, and some effort in order to fit in again. And I know, until shoes and feet did not adjust, none of you step can be trust. And here I am with my old shoes and you together, to walk more and more far away forever, in the way of my new life, like a swing, wild or crazy, it doesn't matter. The first step in the old and the next on the spring. Carne ne pesce, neither fish or meat, we say in Italian, meaning in each case it's tasteless. I feel like a strange beast trapped in a sinkhole, looking for the beauty of multiple identities. Even my therapist, she's not very helpful. <laughs> she said that to me coming here and dealing with the American culture is like trying to have a conversation with my father. I gave up years ago to have a conversation with my father, and now he's far away in the Alzheimer la la land. <sighs> How do you make new friends without looking each other at the eyes? What kind of whiskers or antennas do you have? Is there a Wi-Fi password? Tell me. You don't like to watch each other. You don't like to touch each other. You don't even like to stay close to each other. How do you know when others are willing to play with you and having some kind of conversation? <sighs> How do I deal with this autistic culture? <sighs> <sighs> breathe. Ricardo, breathe. we are talking about. <laughs> Left and right, but no need for any political imprinting. <laughs> Wet or dry, dark, colored, bright, sometimes they are welcoming. If, uh, if gender I could define, oh, uh, females, <laughs> for patience, sensuality, and fertility, 
playing deep in the seas like two happy whales. Or, uh, or androgynous eyes, ethereal eunuch by choice, gender neutral, though scared by the strongest diamond scalpel a beach life can provide. Time to time, they are judgmental arrows, flung without too many acknowledgments, or sharp spades of a debased male power, and therefore desperate. Occasionally, ice can sting, penetrate, and mangle deep inside our dormant identities. And here, you know, in these evergreen lands, arisen from pioneer solitudes, ice can be tolerant and benevolent, perhaps because distracted, perhaps feelings hap feeling happy to see someone after a long time. But they do not, oh my gosh, they do not have it. The demon of creation, the one that can put fire into the rocks, the one that can break down the frantic pioneer spirits, forcing it to settle down and stop wandering around. The one that cracks into anime, creating out of nothing the community of men and women of many, many colors. So, beloved friends, it is not stalking. It is not staring. It is not forcing. My wink, my peak, me looking at your eyes, these are all just little invitations to be together. And for that matter, together as a community, the community of dancers, of the everlasting gays. Honey, did you finish with the laundry? Si, amore mio, coming. <laughs> Just one last quote for you tonight from a fortune cookie. It says, wherever you go, friendly faces will greet you. <laughs>